Guatemala has many challenges. It's a beautiful country and there are beautiful people, but there's a lot of malnourishment in the country. Uh, there's a lot of crime in the country. And we were challenged by the fact that it's so young, only 20 uh, years of age is, is the average age here in the country. And, and we thought this is the place to go to begin to affect in a positive way the next generation. Uh, the need of transformation of Guatemala is, I think, clear in a way that we have a gap in the society. We have one Guatemala here in the city and in the countryside is totally different uh, Guatemala. We, do, we have poverty, we have death, uh, malnutrition, we have uh, no, no human rights at all. So what we need is to close that gap. And the only way to do this is provide opportunity to the people to be empowered start to believe that they can produce and start to believe that they can become part of the, 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 the whole society that will change Guatemala. How does the transformation take place? ¿Cómo ocurre la transformación? Begins with a calling. Comienza con un llamado. I want to make a difference. Yo quiero hacer una diferencia. Stands on a cause. Se sostiene sobre una causa. Doing something that makes a difference. Hacer algo que haga una diferencia. Spreads from me to we. Y se despliega desde el yo hacia el nosotros. With people who want to make. Con gente que quiere hacer una diferencia. There's one more point. Hay un punto más. It breathes with a sense of urgency. Y respira, camina con un sentido de urgencia. How are you? But, but I want you to understand the significance of what is about to happen. This is my greatest week in my leadership life. It was a life-changing time for me. Fue para mí una época de un cambio de vida. Because in 1974, I came to this conclusion. Porque en 1974 yo llegué a esta conclusión. That everything rises and falls on leadership. De que todo sube y baja por el liderazgo. Everything. Todo. Not some things. No algunas cosas. Not most things. No la mayoría de las cosas. Everything. You gave up a lot to be here. You paid financially, you paid your tickets, you gave up a lot to be here. So when I look at you and I smile, it's true I smile because I like you. It's true I smile because you're my coach. But it's really true I smile because you're a gift of God to me. And I want you to always remember that. You get to experience with me this week my greatest leadership week in my life. We get to do it together. One more time, thank you, thank you, thank you. From my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you for our future generations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because this is the moment that is going to start the transformation of 13 million people. Success this week would look like people embracing the change. And I think we're already seeing success because wherever we go, you see people embracing the change. I hear stories of people embracing transformation and saying, transformation begins with me. Transformation is in me. I can be the start of a movement. And you see it in young people's faces and you hear it from people who are more experienced, but I've already heard stories that have brought me to tears and beyond, people 
who are embracing transformation, parents who see their kids embracing transformation and what it means to them. So success, to me, would be the continuation of what's begun. What was pretty special was to be able to be in the round table with the administrators that are responsible for kids that are my daughter's ages. And to see that we have a lot of opportunity and a lot of upside where we live, and then to be able to come and have an impact here with those same kids. They're, they're just kids, they're, they're just, they, Tony shared, he said, they have those same dreams and goals and aspirations that they're being squashed all the time. So I'm always looking to lift that for my daughters and to be able to come and have maybe some small impact on Tony and his de department, lifting the lid on those kids in Guatemala, absolutely is, is beyond success to me. And I absolutely love the opportunity to be here. And as a pastor, I've had the opportunity to do similar types of, of trips and to see God work in some phenomenal ways. But what I'm seeing and what I'm sensing here is, is mind-blowing. And, and it, truly, in my spirit, I believe God is doing something that is so huge that we really won't realize it until years to come. I left Philippines Saturday night this time and I came here but I don't know the days the date the time anymore what I do know is like what I do know <laughs> what I know I traveled over 24 hours but after this transformation in me I will do it over and over and over again thank you once you have tasted once you have really been around and seen and lived in an environment of significance, your heart will never be satisfied for anything else. And your heart will always hunger that when you communicate, you communicate life into people's life. Not only lessons into people's life, but life into people's life. You will never be the same.